Hi folks, I've got a little um, project here and it's a little Thor hammer which I've got lit up in Arnold with a HDRI. Here's the model as it looks at the moment. You know, I haven't spent a lot of time on it. It's just something so I can quickly show you how to make a turntable inside of Maya. All right, so I've got, this is the object I want rendering. First of all, let's make a camera. Um, so let's go to create camera and there we go. Now in this view, I'm gonna to go to panels, perspective and camera one. And basically now I'm moving the camera. So if we, oh, by the way, put this to perspective, you can see, you should be able to see uh, that there's my camera, right? So um, as I move around in here, you'll see that camera move in, move in. So I'm gonna to go to my render settings, make sure that, my, scroll down in the common tab, make sure I'm at HD 1080. And then in my camera view in here, I'm gonna to go to view and camera settings and resolution gate, just so I know this is my actual frame so I can afford now to get a little bit closer in. And I'm just gonna to come to the side just like that, but there. Okay, right. So I'm gonna select the object that I wanna do a turntable for. I'm gonna come into the animation menu. I'm gonna to go to visualize, a create turntable. So just click this option box by here. Tell it how many frames you wanna do. So I'm working in, well, first of all, down here, I'm gonna change my project to 25 frames per second. If you don't have that, you can just go into here in the settings and just change it to 25 frames per second in the time slide over there. Okay, so I'll click save. Right, so number of frames, I wanna render 125 frames, so it takes five seconds for it to rotate. Okay, and you can say clockwise or counterclockwise, completely up to you. Um, and just make sure obviously you've got your object selected. And I'm just gonna click um, apply, clockwise is fine. Um, so get rid of this now. So yeah, this is basically what you've got. So the camera spins around the object, okay? Um, so that now, if I just play it through, um, there we go, that's my turntable. Yours may actually be playing really fast. If it is, just go here and playback speed. It, if it's saying play every frame, it'll go really fast. Just change it to 25 FPS times one, or if you're in 24 FPS, it'll say 24 FPS times one. But yeah, just click that, save. So now that we've got this animating, all we need to do is see it's been called now turntable camera one. So let's open our render view. Um, let's go to um, render, render and not camera one but turntable camera one so you'll see now this will do a quick render of that view if i jump to another frame and render again you'll see that the angle has now changed um, okay so for a turntable you can come into the um, arnold render settings for the for a beauty pass i'm, I'm not going to turn all my samples up to make it perfect i'm probably just going to go two, 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 and you can see that's, that was three seconds of render. Let's see what two, 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 two does. Um, so let's save that. Let's just do a quick, another render. It may bring it down to two seconds. And yeah, it's a little bit more noisy. So I'll tell you what, because it's three seconds of frame, I'm gonna go three, two, 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 like I was before. In fact, I don't need subsurface scattering or transmission um, because I haven't got any of them in there. So I could go four, two, two, zero, zero, okay? Um, let's just do another quick test render to see how long that takes when I up that to four. It shouldn't be too bad, there's only 256 samples and that's four seconds per frame. Okay, so do do kind of what you need. Um, what we can do now is come to render sequence by here. So just click the option box and then um, make sure in your render settings, by the way, that you've got, um, give it a name, so I'm gonna go hammer underscore turntable and use view try yeah that's all right just come to this now make sure you got png or whatever image you want come to this name underscore number and i'm going to do frames one to 125 wasn't it yeah frame one to 125 let me just check that is my work area down here yeah it is Okay, so now I can do the render sequence and it's gonna do one to 125. And yeah, I can just click render sequence. And then what it's gonna do, render each frame, save it out in succession for 125 frames. And then I'll have my final turntable. So I'm in After Effects now and it's finished rendering those 125 frames. So just double click and I'm gonna import, go to Thor Hammer, images, click the first one, hammer turntable, and make sure PNG sequence is ticked, click import. It's saying that it's gonna play back 30 frames per second, so I just wanna right click, go to 
interpret main and I'm going to change this to 25 FPS, click OK, drag it down into new composition and let's go to fit and now if I play this through I have got a turntable of my 3D textured object. So there you go, that's how you make a turntable with Maya. Um, I'm going to do another video now showing you how to render a turntable with a wireframe texture on it so you can see the actual polygons. Okay, um, so cheers for tuning in and I'll see you in a future video.